Hello everyone and welcome back to Expansion of Airmore. Let's end this turn and hope that we win some battles. Er has been putting up more of a fight than I had expected. Still believe a win, just a matter of time. Cool. Alright, so Vrillin is back on the field. Battle in Kimri. I don't think they're going to be able to crush... No, 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 no. We're fine. Just a matter of how many... Triari you will lose. Or lizards, since they march out in front. Oh, don't kill the standards. I need them. No! Why would they walk out in front? Stay with the line. Oh, they got him. Alright, kill the little insects. Get the casters. How the heck are they standing up to all this? Holy crap. Ha! Take it. Okay. Range of light has been conquered by the enemy. That's off in the east somewhere, I think. Ooh, it's gonna be a lot of decaying going on here. Ouch. That shuttle blast was not that good. The heck was that? Was that Iron Bane? All armor parts of this unit are thoroughly rust and will break if struck hard by a blow. Oh. Oh, holy crap. That's a scary spell. I kind of need my armor. Get that lich. That's our god, right? Yeah. Come on. Surround him. Oof. Oh my god. Holy sh... Kill that thing! Whoo! We got their god. Holy crap. Wait, is this the one? Lost 83. Ha! Oh. Not good. Hmm. Oh, I got that one. Alright, so this is us breaking the siege, which should go pretty well for us. Being able to parry all their attacks. Again, I'm not sure about the entire formula for parry, but I believe the longer weapon has a greater chance of parrying with, um, if they're trying to parry a weapon that has a lot shorter length. I think that's in the formula somewhere. And the Shambler's range should be, like, zero, I think. Well. no, oh well. Zero or maybe one, because they're fists.
And so now we are just chasing the Shambler army. Entire village was devoured by Vinemen? Oh, what? We just got that back. Hi. <sighs> Alright, move over there. Are we... Oh, we were attacked there. Okay. So yeah, we didn't go. Okay. Okay. God, there's so many soldiers. Um... Oh, we got their god. Although the Lich is immortal, so in reality we didn't because we're in their dominion. Right. So that did not do anything. Okay. Uh, oops. Where to send these guys? I don't want to go against them. I think I'll send them there. And then we'll send these guys as reinforcements. Uh, let's see. You go there. You preach. You need to... Uh, actually, you can go down there. That's fine. We can try and take that. Send the scout out. Okay, so... Wow, Bane Lords, they are pretty tall. Holy crap. What's their size? Three. He looks bigger than... Oh, okay, yeah, humans are two. No, okay, he is bigger. Um, let's see, Bane Blade, protection, base is 20, attack and defense skill of 14, magic, resistance 15, strength 19. 20 of damage to the Bane Blade. As just a stock unit, no, that's that's pretty good. 42 hit points. I'm not sure if there's any really anything we can give him right now that's going to be better, except for, like, maybe the Trident. Um, his armor is going to be better than what we have. Full helmet, protection 21, defense minus 1. It's the same thing, but also gives morale and dark vision. Sure. Reinvigoration 2 would be the reason I'd want those, but that would be even better. Not that these boots, I think, are really ideal for him. Luck is pretty good. Levitation is not that important. That's not that important. Um, lucky coin, not needed if we have the Pendant of Luck, or we can use the Pendant of Luck's slot for something else. Cold resistance, 15. They're not really casting many cold spells. Morale plus four, don't really need. Horned Helmet, would that be better? Powerful gore attack. Weapon stats, damage is zero. Attack minus one, defense minus one. If the damage is zero, I'm assuming it's still it's just based off of your strength then? That's it? Which his strength is what, like a 19? Hmm. I'll give him that for now. Doesn't need that. I'm, determ I'm deciding if I want to give them, or give him a one-hander and a shield, or just have him stick with a Bane Blade, which is a good weapon. Let me think about this. Uh, we need to rename you. There you go, buddy. And what's your leadership? 160 undead plus 40 normal. Luck is pretty good to have. He has a chill aura. Fire resistant because of the helmet. Undead. I would like to get the magic resistance up higher so he can't be killed by magic as easily. Obviously. There are items that do that. I think that's an astral item. Hmm. Ah, magic resistance plus four. Let's see, give him a 19. Is there anything else you'd want to give him? 
The thing is, I don't really have any good shields, I think, to give this guy. Wraith Sword would probably be better than the Bane Blade. Because there's the Bane Blade, so damage is 9, 2, 3, 3. Is it the same exact sword? I'm assuming it is. Yeah. 2, 3, like 3. And then it has the Decay. But then the Wraith Sword... Which he can't make, but other mages can. Level 4. Damage 9, but also gives partial life drain. Same attack, same defense, same length. Having life drain would not be a bad thing. And again, I don't really have any shields that are cool. Except for like the lucky coin. Hmm... What can you make? Damage 9, Fire and Weakness. That's not bad. Normally I give people like these types of weapons. But that resource seems kind of cool. Lantern Shield, Corpse Candle, Magic Command of 1, Fear plus 5. Fear plus five. Now that's not bad. Fear is a good thing to have on a on an SC. Undead command fifty. Protection nine. I like to give him this just because it's thematic. But I mean the problem is though he's not gonna benefit from the death magic bonus unless I empower him with death magic, so then he'd be level two. But it is kind of cool that he gets this. It just summons undead. In terms of armor, bone armor, we got protection 7. Oh. It's partially protected from cold. That leech the life force from living beings. Really? Would that stack with the wraith sword to give more life leech i mean but the problem is though protection seven is so low and the armor he's wearing right now oh, that's 15 not too much better well let's let's deal with the rest of this turn all right so there's obviously staying there staying there you need to chase these guys down i changed the recruitment from lizards to hastati i did that last turn you move here. They're moving down, they're moving down. Um, who else is moving? I don't think I'm going to move Verlin out yet. Let's give you a cauldron. I'll have you move down. Okay. Do Y. Yeah, Shadow Blast, they've used a lot of their death gems already. Cold attack, fire archers. Oh, uh, you know what? Fire closest. They don't have many archers. Put you in the center. Some of our undead forces over here. That's going to be a victory for us. Preach. That's annoying. Uh, okay, let's grab another centurion here. 
You are out of money. We are broke. So broke. Hmm. I want you... It's not safe to enter here because these guys may go north. I... No, just stay there for now. All right, I guess, well, you can go south. That should be safe-ish. Kind of. Um, you need to be patrolling. And we got this back. Let's go to army setup. Okay, so we need to transfer you there. There we go. Okay. Which frees up these guys to head back north, gather some troops, and then try to take these other provinces. General Collius will forge something. Banefire crossbow is not bad. Gloves of the Gladiator. Three magic damage blunt, but you get four attacks with it. That's kind of cool. Doom Glaive. Attack, defense, like the four, small area, curse and decay. So it's just like the Bane Blade, but does more damage? Okay. Huh. I don't think I've ever used Doom Glaives, but I think I should. Alright, we need you to forge something. Astro Magic Bonus 1, Magic Resistance 2. Auto Spell Frighten, Chronic Command. Uh, it's gotta be something. Limited Regeneration, Poison Resistance 15, Body 12. Maybe I can give that to him, so he'd have the Wraith Sword, decent armor that also grants him limited regeneration. He has 40 hit points, so that's 4 health he's gaining back every turn. Problem is, still, if he gets surrounded, he's gonna die. With that. Hmm. There's so many things. I don't know. Call me as necromancer as well. No. Now let's make an amulet of anti magic just in case we want it in the future. And let's have you patrol this province because we don't want to lose it again. And we have no money. Which is a problem. Alright. I'll just spend some time, I think, between videos and see what I can make. Try to determine what's going to be best for Vrillin. Fear's not a bad idea. Never a bad idea, I think. Alright, bound the Grey Mercs. Well. Looks like we should be able to win this one. So many undead, holy crap. Yeah, alright. That's done. We lost 10. Yeah, two echo days, that's fine. Oh, they're attacking us? No! I moved my army out. I just, that should have been relatively safe. No! Goodbye, priest. Damn it. I wasn't expecting a follow-up attack so quickly. 
All right, will we finally be able to crush these guys? Goodbye. Coming for us again. But now you're going to come across a wall of Triarii. Oh, it's the time to see the Chambler's attack range. Should be zero. Yep, length of zero. Farewell. Hmm. Okay. Come on, javelins. Kill those wolves. I hate ethereal. This thing has trample, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. UW regeneration. Oh, while underwater. <laughs> I've not even seen that before. Interesting. Holy crap, it has that many attacks. Bring it down. Ha! Ah. What was that one? Wold? Ah, they're not gonna win that one. They managed to kill two guys. One Triari, one Equite. Still need more time in Kimri. Okay, so now we need to move down there. I hate that we lost that priest. God, this enemy dominion is nuts. Okay. I think we just kind of keep walking around for right now. I mean, I could lay siege to that castle, but I want to kill their armies. And they're splitting up a little bit, so I want to kill them while I can. And if we get them, then it looks like they left this place a lot so or left only some troops there to defend it so we could take that again antonius let's move you up as well you will patrol and hold that province there let's see stay beyond troops fire closest oh Now, can they hold? So they have like 150 lizards. These guys have about 160 units, but they have... Surely they're going to have magical backup. Uh, scout. Let's... Let's move that this way. I don't want you to get found out at that place. Hmm. Whoa. A frost brand. Okay. Does this guy have a red sword? You do. Hmm. I guess you don't need to make it then. That's good. And that's like 30 death gems. I think. Can I spare these mages? Would they do much to change the battle? Maybe. And they give some undead support, I guess. Sure. Cause uh yeah, I think I think we may be able to hold that. Maybe. 
Now, what I... Hmm. Hmm. Dancing Trident is pretty cool. Do I want the Amulet of Magic Resistance? Oh, so he'll still sit there. I need to figure that out. Preach. Go down there. Okay. Should I have a Centurion? There you are. Get that Triari. Move up here. And since I'm going to gather Triari from here, I'll recruit here for a couple more turns. And then probably stop recruitment and use that money elsewhere closer to the front lines. And then press in. I didn't even have enough money to get a researcher there. That's upsetting. Wow, level 6. Okay. Wow, we have so much stuff. Fane Lord. Alright, so we can summon ghosts and specters, which are going to be ethereal. Oh no, that's a commander. Hmm. Well, the ghosts are ethereal. Last time I checked, Earth Forces don't have magical weapons. So that could be good. Harvester of Sorrows. Right? I want to test that out. There's the Wraith Lord. Then we get into... That's what I need. Well of Misery. Then we're, then we're going to be cooking. So we need to keep Rot Brother, which is our one Lich alive, because he's the only one who's level 6. I think. Because he needs to cast Well of Misery, which we will need 80 Death Gems. That's still a few turns away. But that I think it doubles the amount of gems you get a turn. Which actually isn't that much. If you think about it. I need more death gems. Um, who is free to cast stuff like that? I guess just you. Let's do shift M. What? Oh, whoops. Cast for spell. There we go. Okay. Okay, you keep casting that. Oh, you have a bag of wine. I didn't mean for you to keep that, but that's cool. It's totally fine. We'll get this province defense up a little bit. And we will set the line of Triari behind the province defense. Eh, we'll just do like that. We'll set these guys back a little bit. Do I have any crossbows or anything for you? No. No, I don't. Okay. Stay behind troops for now. Do any good to put the amulet of giants on the on a uh, villain? Or just make him what a size four? Does that also increase your hit points? That I don't know. Okay, man, there's a lot of ghosts. I need some priests for that one. Anything else I need to do? You, I suppose, can preach there. Would like to get more bishops pumped out of this place when I have the money for them. But uh, I think we're done with this turn. Yeah. Whew. Ah, you're killing me. There's no death starts anywhere. 
So they are actually attacking me. And they are not going to get anywhere with this. I mean, our province defense alone could take them out. But nice try. Alright, barbarians. Get those trolls. Yeah! Yeah! The high damage barbarians, pretty good against trolls. Get through their high hit points and their uh, regeneration. Yeah! Get out of here. Those barbarians have really done pretty well for me. They have deflected a lot of attacks. through this game. I think they deflected a lot of attacks from flying birds of Kalem, and now against her. Oh my god, the Iron Bane again. take out another sizable chunk of their army. Although, it would be nice if we could cast um, Shadow Blast, but I'm pretty sure we're out of death chance. Stop something, apparently. Nice. Beautiful. Just beautiful. That's just brings tears to my eyes. Those undead soldiers. That's just. Oh, it's so much. I'll get the Well of Misery up. I'll cast some more revenants. Get some more other undead creatures. It's gonna be great. An army worthy of Vrillin, the Bane Lord, to command. I guess it's kind of odd that he dies a human. He's brought back as a creature who's bigger than a human. I didn't think that part through. Oh well, magic. Maybe they slap some, like, giant legs on his body. I don't know. Oh, come on. These guys are really holding out. Dathan? Yeah. This should be easy because their army left. Yep. Unrest plus 35. Ah, we can finally breach Kimri. Thank goodness. And you know what? Get a couple more barbarians. You guys are great. It doesn't look like they have any forces that can attack this province this turn. Um... 
So let's go back up and gather more troops. And we'll probably take the rest of this turn later. I've got to really need to get this enemy dominion in check. I really do. Oh, no, they still have so many units there after all. God. Why do you have so many? Oh no, Rob Brother has a affliction. Diseased? Uh no. The elixir doesn't work on undead, does it? Does it? I need to get you to a castle, buddy. I need you. I need you to have that item. Uh, I guess I could also do it this way. We can give this guy the elixir. Send him there as well, and give it to Rot Brother. Are all these guys diseased? Oh, he must have got hit with something. I just didn't see what the hell it was. Yep. Yep. Exhaustion. Yep. You're diseased. Your disease is muted. Oh my god. Or is these guys pretty... They are... Plague carriers. Right. Maybe that's what's going on. Let's just do that. I mean, the thing is, like, my other mummies that were up here never seemed to spread disease, but, um... I don't know, maybe... Maybe Janix and... Pompeius are doing that. Well, they can just go over there then. Because that sucks. Alright, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. I will see you all next time. Take care.